Pennsylvania Democratic Senator John Fetterman is in the hospital right now being treated for clinical depression. His office says the lawmaker is receiving treatment for the condition. Fetterman was evaluated Monday and recommended to receive care. The senator is still recovering from a stroke he suffered last spring. He was also hospitalized after feeling lightheaded last week. Joining us now is Democratic Congresswoman Susan Wild. She represents Pennsylvania's 7th District. Congresswoman, uh, thank you for being with us on CBS News today. Look, clinical depression is a very serious condition. It impacts millions of Americans. I know it's been personal for you as well. You lost your partner of 17 years to suicide back in 2019. Our condolences, um, of course. But we rarely hear about elected officials publicly seeking assistance for mental illness. So I want to get your response to yesterday's news of Fetterman's condition. Thank you so much for having me. And, and thank you for bringing light to this very difficult subject. People among us uh, suffer from clinical depression all over the place. And it really has no boundaries. It certainly doesn't have any kind of partisan a boundary. Um, and we there are doctors, teachers, um, accountants, all, all kinds of people in all walks of life who are suffering from clinical depression. And you don't hear much about it because they're not in the public eye. Um, I think it's very, very important the people who are, are in the public eye raise the awareness of mental health issues, depression, and by doing so, reduce the stigma of seeking mental health care. And so I'm incredibly proud of Senator Fetterman for, for publicly discussing this and letting the public know why he's hospitalized. Um, I, my heart goes out to him and to his family. Um, my, my own family's been very much affected by mental health issues, but I am incredibly happy that he is seeking this treatment. And I hope that we use this as a teachable moment for people everywhere. Uh, Congresswoman, stigma is the word that we keep thinking of when we talk about mental health, uh, and specifically when it comes to depression. You know, Errol and I were talking off camera about this. There's a lot that's misunderstood when it comes to mm -hmm. mental health. That's for sure. And so uh, when someone is public in speaking of depression, there can be misunderstandings. And so we have certainly seen criticism in the wake of Senator Fetterman's um, uh, disclosure of this. I wonder how your colleagues now are reacting to Senator Fetterman so publicly and being very uh, open about seeking help, because this is not necessarily something that we have seen, as we said uh, before, when it comes to public officials. Sure. Well, let me just say, I haven't had a lot of time to talk to my, my colleagues about this, but I have heard from a lot of constituents um, and people across the country who know that I care deeply about mental health issues and have spoken out on them before, and who are very grateful um, that I'm supporting Senator Fetterman in this, and also that he is talking about it publicly. The problem is that people seem to think that depression or a mental health issue um, prevents you from actually being able to perform your job functions. And the truth of the matter is that with proper treatment, many, many Americans are working, they're very functional, they're successful in their careers, and it, but you can only be that way if you recognize that you have a problem and then you seek the treatment that you need. And that's exactly what he's doing. I'm so glad you made that point, Congresswoman, because as I was getting ready to ask you, how do you respond to people who say he cannot serve? You're making the point that by seeking treatment, you can continue to function, which is probably a reason so many people aren't open about right. their struggles, professionally speaking, because they don't want to jeopardize their employment, their careers, right. their reputation. So speak to us a bit more about why Fetterman seeking treatment publicly, in your view, doesn't impact his ability to do his job. Well, as I said before, if you don't seek treatment, it, your mental health issue could very well get in the way of your job, but he is seeking mental health tr treatment. He recognized that he needed it and he's getting it. But more to the point, when it comes to a public figure like a politician, they're, rather than not being able to serve the people of Pennsylvania, I would 
contend that there are Pennsylvanians and Americans everywhere who feel less stigmatized, less of a, a, a odd man out, and recognize that they too um, share a disease, an illness um, that many other people have. So I would con I would actually argue that it makes him more able to relate to Pennsylvanians, to his constituents, and for and that I hope I really look forward to working with Senator Fetterman on some more mental health bills. It's been my mission in Congress. I've worked on a lot of mental health bills. I had one signed into law last year, the Dr. Lorna Breen Act, which is a a bill that specifically came about as a result of a suicide of an emergency room physician, Dr. Lorna Breen, in the at the height of COVID. It, she was working in New York City. Mm -hmm. She was under tremendous pressure. And most significantly, she told her family that she didn't feel like she could seek help because it would affect her professionally. Mm -hmm. It would affect her licensure as a wow. doctor. That's what we have to get away from. And Senator Fetterman is, is paving the way for other people. I guarantee you, without even doing a survey in Congress and in the Senate, there are many, many of my colleagues who are under mental health treatment. Some of them may not have severe clinical depression. They may have other issues. They may have a milder form of depression. But the point is, it is among all of us everywhere. And this should not, we shouldn't stigmatize the public when they seek help. And we sure, certainly should not stigmatize politicians when they draw attention to it. Such a critically important issue that, as we said, affects millions of Americans. Congresswoman Susan Wild, thank you so much for sharing your perspective thank with you. us. Thank you, Congresswoman. And if any of you are listening and you hear something familiar or perhaps you know someone who needs help, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline Network is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can call, text, or chat their hotline using the three-digit number you see right there, 988.